This season we're kind of titling it Tropical Speed Racer, interpreted through lasering and perforation and mesh. So it's a very easy kind of wet look here at Alexander Wang, very downtown, a little bit rock and roll which is always his kind of girl. So I'm using a mousse to sort of put into the hair. I'm using a salt to hair dryer just to sort of rough dry it. Then just putting a little bit of a shine spread at the end. So it kind of looks half wet, half dry. Just very easy. We're doing really fresh, raw skin, moisturizing, using concealer just to cover any blemishes. I'm using smolder pencil. Uh, blending out with a little bit of AR cream on top and basically that's it. Typical Alexander Wang girl. Just so in love with his clothes right now and how wearable they are and sexy and stylish at the same time. Essentially, you know, where we left off with Resort with the idea of speed and velocity. I really wanted to kind of look more into kind of BMX riders and motocross. I think our girls are always kind of living on the edge, you know, living dangerously. And, um, you know, it, it was fun to kind of explore a lot more print and pattern in that sense and collaging all of that together and looking a lot at, you know, motocross uniforms and jerseys and, you know, taking a lot of techniques such as burnouts and applying that and, you know, making them a lot more softer, of course, and, you know, doing them on silk jerseys and chiffons, um, and as well as the knits. He really understands how to be modern and how to produce wearable and desirable clothes. I think there are sort of pieces that are just are so special. He has a real sense of what's about to happen. Just looks really right right now. He's having a huge impact on fashion and he's certainly bringing a lot of excitement to New York from the very first season that he had shown. And not only excitement to the shows here in the city, but he brings excitement at retail. Customers love him. And you know, even though he's such a young designer, he really appeals to such a, a multi-generational woman. Young girls, their moms, and even some of the grandmothers in the great jersey pieces he does. It has a real urban attitude when we see it on the runway, but when you take it apart piece by piece, each item is really fantastic, and there's a casual elegance, kind of a super cool luxe to it. Um, I'm a fan and I'm a friend. Um, this is really chic, well fitting, innovative. Even though he is really young, He's worked very hard to get where he is. I mean, I, I have been familiar with his name for, you know, almost 10 years. So he's really been involved for a long time. But I think that he has hit that note that, that young women right now are really, really attracted to. And it's, it's urban, but it's sporty, and it's cool, but it's approachable. I mean, he's really just, somebody always gets it, and it's him right now. I've always liked the idea of, you know, motocross and BMX and you know, I've always admired that kind of that kind of sport. I always like exploring things that I, I'm quite curious about and you know that are quite more unfamiliar to me, you know, and it lets me kind of think and be inspired by it a little bit more, you know, in a more kind of uh, more open way, you know, there's no limitations in that sense, I guess you could say.
fan of his work, and you know I, I play a fashion designer on How to Make in America, and so I'm 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 here, you know, learning about fashion and promoting the show as well. So I just think it's like everything he's got. It's not too in your face. It's subtle. It's uh, and it's but it's got an edge to it. That sporty idea again, you know, he loves that tension between the masculine and the feminine. And I think it's always really fashion when there is a bit of tension. Anything that's too super feminine becomes almost sweet, and anything that's too masculine doesn't feel relevant for a woman. And I think Alexander does that in a really young and very current sort of way. The perfect balance between something that has a masculine edge but still a sexy feminine sensibility to it. Every season it's always kind of like a new step for us to kind of evolve in fabrics or colors or pattern and this season you know we were looking a lot at kind of more bourgeois fabrics such as like silk taffetas and double faced organzas and things that we might have not used so much before. You know, it's kind of just taking these things and throwing them out of context, as we always like to do, and, you know, finding a new purpose for them.